I've always been a great supporter of the arts, and Mitchell's a good friend of mine, and a good lawyer. So I jumped at the chance to finance his musical. And I'm doing kick-ass set design and costumes. I'm telling the story of Regis Xavier Crenshaw, my great-great-grandfather. He was a judge in the early days of the colony. One of the cases he tried literally tore the community in half. It appears that someone stole the governor's pig. The problem we have is that the records of the case are sketchy at best, and it is making it damn near impossible to write. Most of the records were made by the subsequent governor who went mad from lead poisoning. For example, according to him, the pig walked upright, seven foot tall, and was accustomed to dance a merry jig to the delight of the governor's visitors. I find that highly dubious. Here we go, Mr Crenshaw. All of your great-great-grandfather's ruling on the infamous pig theft case. The Barnett Jade website has an extensive range of case references. Australia's legal history at your fingertips. Apparently the pig was six foot tall when stretched out and the governor would grasp its front trotters and dance a slow waltz. I think this will be really powerful after the sword fight scene, Mr. Crenshaw. I think so too. <laughs>